Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a profile. My goodness, we've made it. And uh, this is India's greatest ever player. It's Baichung Butia. Come on in, pal. I mean, I mean, not at like a, an illustrious <laughs> set of players, surely. No, this is a short and sweet one. Let's mm. be honest. But um, I, I was looking terrifically into this guy. important. We have had, yes, uh, we have had. I mean, we've been doing this show for five years, and we've been having emails from people about this guy for all of that time. To be mm. fair, um, so but it's a fascinating. You know, he's obviously someone who means a lot. To, yeah, to yeah no, 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 absolutely, and absolutely. It, football is a growing. Sport and and let's be honest. We'll say now he's not had. He's not played for any of the the, the European giants. Or he or played for no. Berry. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're giving the Steady. game away here. Yeah? That's, that's the. That's the big finale <laughs> all right <laughs> and then he went to Barry get but, him in but we'll, <laughs> but we'll explain why um that's so important um he's bloody indian <laughs> well to, to be fair, fair i mean he, yeah absolutely <laughs> i mean he, he's he's the most famous and uh, most popular footballer um to have uh, been produced by india um, uh, known as the first poster boy of Indian football and let's be honest you know that country you know they, they love other sports as well it's mm. not football that doesn't have a monopoly there absolutely not um, but he is he's a massive massive star and uh, in his own country and to, to achieve that is, is incredible in itself you know? yeah um, uh, so uh, I mean, he was from uh, a very poor family they were poor farmers struggling to make ends meet they told the, the young uh, Butia to concentrate on his studies and, and would try and dissuade him from playing football um, and again not that many role models in, in the no. country especially in the, in the region where he's from um, Sikkim which is well, up until recently, didn't even have a big football club. I mean, you, mm. yeah, you, you hear that. You hear this about a lot of players, you know, um, or, or not necessarily being dissuaded as such, but you know, the idea of them becoming a professional footballer being sort of a kind of crazy dream, and then they make it against all the odds because they're actually quite good. But in India, yeah, where you know, there's, the, I can imagine there's, you know, the, there aren't that many professional teams. Um, yeah, sorry, sorry, son, did you say cricket? No, no, <laughs> yeah. no, definitely said football. Yeah, exactly. You can. I mean, that's a hell of a journey he, he's taken from from beginnings like that, where even to, you know. At the, at the start of his career or the very you know inception of him wanting to be a footballer he came up against opposition that's right I mean I think it was um, I think it was his uncle or something like that who were like no 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 you can do this you know and gave him a lot of inspiration um, and he loved football so much and he, after impressing at an inter school tournament um, he was given the chance to leave school and become a professional footballer at the age of 16 and started playing professional football against um, the many odds um, and he signed for East Bengal Club who are one of the big sides in India he didn't play too many times for them and left two years later to join uh, Jason CT Mills it was around this time in 1995 where he got his first call up to the Indian national team scored on his debut and became India's youngest ever scorer at the age of 19 um, so turning heads in his in his homeland and uh, uh, back at his club he won the uh, Indian National Football League was top scorer in the process Indian player of the year so uh, from a young age it was kind of like this guy's standing out he's mm -hmm. a bit different you know um, and a lovely lad as well lots of people say that about him just uh, you know poster boy lovely guy and all the rest of it. almost yeah. like the sort of David Beckham of yeah. India yeah, really. a, bit of, a bit of the Lineker about him as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, uh, the Lineker we used to know. Um, mm. The one we won't allege anything about. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he... he um, <laughs> He returned to play for East Bengal Club after that and scored the first ever hat-trick in the big local derby between East Bengal Club and Mohan uh, Bahan. And uh, the rivalry between those two sides is absolutely enormous. I mean, it, the, the fixture holds the record for the largest sporting attendance um, for an event in India. Really? Yeah, yeah. Which, which is quite That's remarkable. And, and on that famous day in 97, um, he was playing for East Bengal Club, 131,000 were at the game. Wow, like absolutely enough. phenomenal stuff, and it's fitting that um, uh, Butia scored uh, the hat first ever hat trick in, in the club's fi in, in the, his the history of the fixture. I think it's only been done once after that. Um, one of his so, uh, what, they've only had that derby twice. No, no, sorry, the hat trick in the derby. Right, sorry. Um, so one of his greatest achievements came two years later in 1999 when he became the first Indian player to play professional football in Europe. Now. We can't. It's not Real Madrid. It's not Barcelona. It is Berry in the old mm. second division in English football. But still, it's a great achievement. Yeah, but, but the it, first one to do it. But it's, it's one of those ones where it's like they just don't play enough football in that country, and for its size, it's yeah. kind of like I think they're quite ranked rank quite high for their population. Mm. But it's just just not played quite so much. I mean, they, they, they sort of go back and talk about you know the caste system, whether that has something to do with it, how it's like yeah. the, it's a, it's a seen as being a, a lower class. Um, mm. uh, sport compared right. to cricket which is a little bit more uh, revered sort of speak but it's it's just and, and, and the weird thing about um, Indian uh, the national team is 
which I'm sure you'll come on to because obviously he yeah. played for them because he was the best footballer <laughs> um, is that they don't allow dual nationalities so like for right. example Michael Shopper yeah. couldn't play for them yeah. because he, they wouldn't give him a passport and stuff like that so it's, 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 they don't help <laughs> the no, international sure. team when it comes sporting teams when it comes to well, stuff I mean, like that most of the big European sides do well most teams do that yeah they? England certainly well look at like, you know most, like, most of the, the, the decent French sides of the last uh, 20 years yeah. have been like African uh, nations indeed, have, indeed. Uh, have given them the players um so yeah, absolutely, and and he became in April two thousand the first Asian-born player to score in the English professional game against Chesterfield. Again, take that Chesterfield. Yeah, exactly, and they did on the chin. Um, I mean, India's huge as well. I know. Yeah. Like, it's hard to sort of like you know it's just one guy and stuff, but that's bloody huge. Yeah, it really like, is. It really is. I mean, he scored a few goals there, not not too many. His time was dogged a little bit by um, by injuries, but. He's earned his place in the record books. Absolutely, for, for that time in, in yeah. Barry. Uh, he returned to India after playing. Uh, he played for a few more teams and then uh, went back to East Didn't Bengal. Didn't he Club. actually have some injury trouble while he was here as well? He which did. Really yeah. limited. Um, That's right. Know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, he eventually found his way back at his uh, beloved East Bengal uh, club, and uh, he went there a couple of times uh, between different clubs. Um, their rivals as well, Mohan Bagan, um, went to them. It's quite strange, actually, kind of almost like a bit of a yo-yo between two rival clubs mm. he, he signed for. But he, like East Bengal, most players who've played in Italy, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But East Bengal club was was um, was where he, he he did his best he stuff at home, him. exactly, yeah. Um, and it, wherever he went, he was loved. He really was, and he scored goals and uh, he lit up the stadiums and or stadia and his international career is very impressive as well I mean he's the first player to reach 100 caps for India a massive total of 107 international appearances scored 43 goals for India which is a record mm. of course um, and he played in the start for India in a number of cup competitions that, that we in Europe are co- quite unaware of uh, the, the Nehru Cup LG Cup the South, uh, South Asian uh, Football Federation Championship all these kind of things but they mean how do we get of... into such cups <laughs> <laughs> well uh, Eurosport probably <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> not by definition though um, uh, but these you know those tournaments mean a lot to the people from those countries you know mm. I mean you, you mm, get people it. like North Korea playing you know Pakistan you can only um, play what is in front of you <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly you know they did qualify um, for the um, for the Asian Cup but I think they got knocked out in the first round you know but you know, he, a very important player, and you can't take away those cups and those memories and those great yeah, times well, I mean, for those any, people. Any success they may go on to have in the future, will he'll be like a sort of reference point for that. You know, but it's, a, it, it, a, it's one of those people who should be like held up as like our, our David Beckham, like a statesman who you know in future years could bring the World Cup to India or Pakistan or somewhere yeah, like you know. Yeah, he'll those be one of those. He'd probably prefer India, you'd imagine, but, <laughs> but you know, just he'll do his bit for the continent. <laughs> no, well, you're absolutely right. Well, didn't he refuse to carry the Olympic torch um, he did, in yeah. protest at um, the occupation of Tibet? Yes, he did. Yes, he was, well, mm. you know, he's, he's, he's clearly a, a, pl- a political man. I think. So. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he is a sort of um, but the fact ambassadorial was, type, but yeah, on his own terms. Yeah, that's. <laughs> but the fact he was offered the torch, yeah, shows you, um, yeah, how highly the man is regarded in in India. Um, uh, he he, uh, he finished his um, uh, international playing career with a, a farewell friendly uh, organised for him against Bayern Munich. India v Bayern Munich. <laughs> He's glad to be alive, that kind of stuff, isn't it? Um, but his should be a lasting legacy. Towards the end of his career, he, he started up a football club called United Sikkim, and this side became the first team from that region of India to play in India's top flight. And uh, Butia co-owns them and, uh, and wanted to give the people of his region a team to support, which is fantastic, mm. isn't it? Um, he also started up the... Um, Again, uh, like David Beckham. Yeah. Like he wants an MLS franchise. Well, he? he started up the Baichung uh, Butia Football School in 2000. 10, like David Beckham, to train and inspire um, young footballers as well. Uh, and he retired from the game earlier this year. Although it's funny, some of the interviews you read about him, he sort of says, "Yeah, yeah I've retired. Oh, but if uh, if if United to keep need me, then I'm, I'm always on hand." Do you know what yeah. I mean? He's one of those players. Has he retired? You know, yeah. we could see him again. <laughs> who, who, who knows? The Sikkim government has built a stadium named after him um, in his honour he's interesting enough he's also the president and founder of the Football Players Association of Inda- India after seeing the uh, PFA during his time in England so he's given a lot back to the game well, in really has. <laughs> indeed and he, and he is, is worthy of, of his place in the Demon Das Hall of Fame absolutely and in he comes hey. come Get on in there good man Booksy first out. Indian to enter the Demon Das Hall of Fame